he'd have to take it. Well, that's what I, when I was training for that uh, <laughs> MMA fight against a comedian, I trained with Bisping uh, twice. And I grapple with Bisping. And Bisping's not even known for his jujitsu. Of course he is. He, no, he's, he's got very he's good got, jiu-jitsu. He's a brown belt. He, uh, but his, oh, uh, I know. His uh, guard, his defensive guard is one of the best in MMA. Very rarely do people pass his guard. When he's yeah. on the ground, he's, he's excellent. But primarily, he, you know, he's known as a striker. Yeah. Primarily. Primarily. Do, I can't explain to you. It was like I felt like a lion was just toying with me. It, it was, and it, it was, it was a strange thing because I'd never in my life, because you obviously you know an MMA fighter can beat you up, you know a professional mixed martial artist can beat you up, but I don't think people realize how badly and yeah. how big of the gap hmm. it is because yeah, it's not, it. it's. But they don't know, Joe. You no. know, people have no fucking clue until you do it. And I had no idea until this is last summer. And I just and he was fucking around with me for a second. Yeah, it was terrifying, and I, I feel like less of a man. I can't look at my son in the eyes <laughs> the same way that I used to be able to. I, I don't fuck right. You know what anymore. it's like? Oh, come on, you'll be all right. <laughs> you know what it's like? It's like, um, do you know how people see someone do stand up and they think I could fucking do that? Everyone, that's how we all know, started, right? But because you're just talking, the yeah. guy's just talking. Yeah, that's what fighting is like. It's like you look at a guy like Bisping, and you know he's like a normal guy. I mean, he's obviously very athletic, and he's big and everything like that. But he's he's not Shaquille O'Neal. He's yeah. not like a, some seven foot something specimen. He's yeah. a regular size human. So you're like, well, he's moving like a regular human. I could do that, but you have no idea. It is. You have no idea. You're beyond helpless. You have no idea. Literally. Yeah. You have no idea. He grabs a hold of you. You're you're a dead person. Almost anybody in the UFC, any any yeah. person, the average person, if, even if you're training, it, it doesn't matter. They can take you. There's levels. And do what they want to do with yeah. you. Yeah. There's intellectual levels. Like I always feel like that whenever I talk to people that are really smart. Like if I have a Sean Carroll or a Neil Grass Tyson or someone on the podcast, you talk to him. You're just like, God damn, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. You know. There's just there's levels to this. There's of levels to this understanding of life. There's like, but that's with everything. With stand up, with artwork, with with someone choking the life out of you. Yeah. Got, to this day, man, I, I've been doing jujitsu since 1996. If I roll with certain people, I just it's a matter of when I'm going to get strangled. Yeah. They don't even have to be bigger than me. It'd be smaller than me. It's when am I going to tap? When's it coming? I had a I'm friend of mine who, it out. who's like a really athletic dude who I like, get he. he not a bit of friend. It's a friend of a friend, but he trains out of a, he's like a trainer out of a, a Gracie school in Florida. And he told me one time he, he got to roll with Hoist Gracie. And I said, no, I was like, I was, what was it like? Was it like, was he like that much better? Because this guy's a high level black belt. Mm-hmm. Like he's like, dude, he was like, when we're talking about levels. He was like, he was toying with me. Like I had never done it before. And that's how, uh, I, that's how good, um, those guys are. 